Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Nearly 3,000 years ago, the psalmist David wrote, I praise you because I have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous is your workmanship, as my soul is well aware. But just how wonderfully made man really is has come to light only in the past century as science has begun to unlock the secrets of the human body. The human body, your body, according to medical science, contains 37 trillion cells that reproduce themselves every seven years. Each one of the 37 trillion cells performs 10,000 different chemical functions, according to the late Dr. Ralph Byron of the City of Hope Cancer Clinic. Yet all of them just work together to produce a healthy body. When you get extremely tired, you can't say, all right, cell number 843,291, get to work. You're not pulling your fair share of the load. All of these cells are linked together by nerve cells tied into a brain containing a hundred billion cells, give or take a few. I hesitate to say that these 100 billion nerve cells are tied into a computer-like device called the brain, since the human brain is far superior to any computer ever created. The eminent neuroscientist Moshe Abele of bar Elion University in Israel says, our ability to understand all of the details of even one brain is practically zero. Marvelous is your body, powered by a digestive system that contains acids strong enough to eat the varnish off a tabletop, yet functionally adequate in your stomach and intestine. Apply those same acids to the backside of your hand and it would immediately burn it. But within the human body, the acids break down the foods that we eat into fuel that is carried by the body throughout our bloodstream. The blood is impelled by a powerful, man-sized fish-shaped muscle known as a heart, a complex device that beats more than two and a half million times in an average lifespan. I had breakfast with an attorney at one time, a friend who serves on our board, and Wes was sporting a new cast on his arm. Having taken a fall while walking his dog, he ended up with a broken arm. Adjusting to the new handicap, he reached for his mouth with his napkin, only to discover that his hand was closer to his ear. What a way to learn to appreciate the dexterity of our hand, which performs some 58 different movements. And we take it all for granted. One more thing. What of the marvel of the human eye? That remarkable little lens that lets you see the flowers, trees, the sunshine as it filters through the clouds. In spite of the fact some of us find it necessary to wear glasses to correct astigmatism or whatever, our eyes continue to let us perceive the world with a third dimension that lets us walk through the forest without hitting the trees. Glands lubricate the delicate tissues of the eye, allowing it to function year after year, as do light bulbs that have to be replaced periodically. Just happened, some say, speaking of the marvelous human body. It just happened, about like an explosion in a print shop producing an unabridged dictionary of the English language. Why don't you, like David, pause, fill your lungs, look towards heaven, and say, Thank you, Lord, for my body and for your blessing and goodness to me. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.